Hello friends, let us now learn some important points about singer alkali denaturation test. In singer alkali denaturation test, here this is done for fetal blood. In fetal blood, there is HBF which is resistant to alkali and acid. And this is seen in Vasa Previa. Whereas if you see the maternal blood, maternal blood, it is HBA and it is mainly sensitive to acid and alkali. And where do you see maternal blood? It is seen in placenta previa, succinctive placenta, all those types you will see, see these. Okay, now the main difference is it is resistant to alkali and acid. So here the reagent which is added here is sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide is added. If sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide is added to the fetal blood, fetal blood with sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide, this will result in because this is resistant to artery, this will give color is same. So that is vasa previa. Then if the maternal blood is added to the, um, sorry, maternal blood is added to reagent. If maternal blood is added to the reagent, sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide, this here the color becomes brown. Why? Because here hemolysis is positive. So it is placenta previa okay this is about singer alkali denaturation test so in order to diagnose it antenatally this is done in bleeding mother when here in order to diagnose antenatally to diagnose antenatally doppler ultrasonography is done to diagnose antenatally now what is the treatment of vasa previa treatment of vasa previa is cesarean section now what is the treatment of prognosis the prognosis of vasa previa is increased perinatal mortality is seen in vasa previa okay this is about the singers alkali denaturation and the treatment of vasa previa thank you for watching